size. I gotta make these letters bigger. Man, people can't see it. I'm hitting Mishawaka again, probably the busiest intersection there is. People are attentive and looking. So I'm just gonna scribble this on here a little bit. Bear with me. I'll show you what we got going on here. I guess I'll show you right now. So the video is not too long. Their body, their choice, save our nurses and doctors. No mandatory jabs. That is for, for our freaking healthcare workers, man. We might, we're going to need those people. We can't just let them. If it's their choice to get the jab as a medical professional, then they're fucking idiots. And they need to go anyways. In my opinion. But if they don't want that roll up your sleever, they should not have to lose their job to stay at work just like everything else and this is I'm, dude I'm I, I know some people who are nurses but they start dude they start mandating this everywhere we're in trouble I mean, we're already in trouble you guys know that You guys all know that. I'm just going to take a few minutes and make this bigger so they can, people can, it stands out better, you know? And I am getting some honks. I had one guy tell me, oh, you're one of them that want to go down there and stay at the hospital. I just laughed at him. And then I had another guy flip me off. They're sleeping. They're not awake. They've been brainwashed. They're television programmed. They believe everything the government says. And that's... That's sad. They can't change them all. And I really should be on my way home. I told the little woman I'd be home around 5.36ish. Right now, I'll be home at 6.15. I'm going to go a little bit longer, and then i got to go. I got to go home. I got to do something. I did tell somebody to call the hospital and report it and say, hey, no. And they were on vacation. <laughs> they were from somewhere else, and they loved what I was doing. But they were for somewhere else. Sometimes that doesn't make a difference, guys. Um, you know, if you're, well, kind of like the, kind of like the Fed or the, the Gov, you could. Uh, I don't know if I should do. I'm just gonna go with three. You know, when you try to call your congressman, I wonder. I'm sure it would work if we called our local hospitals and said, no, there's too many adverse reactions, there's too many deaths associated with it. That's versa. That's the government. That's not me. That's facts. That's not my opinion. I'm going to do this right quick and I'm going to go out for a little bit longer. There's nowhere to set my phone up to tape this one that I know of. I'm going to try it. But I'm back in Mishawaka. The nice thing about being in Mishawaka is people from Michigan all over. This is, this is the place to go for commerce. So... It's busy. 
it's busy. So hopefully we're getting to somebody, you know? And I think we are. I think I am. I'd like to think I'm not wasting my time. Anyways, praying for the world. Praying for you guys. Praying for my local nurses and doctors. We're in trouble, guys. Peace.